three common issues with outboard external gas tanks. Number one, new external gas tanks have to be sealed. That means they no longer have just a simple vent that allows pressure to vent out into the air. They now have to have what I believe is called a vacuum valve that allows air to go in, but not air to go out. What that does is it keeps the gas fumes and evaporated gas from exhausting into the atmosphere. This new vacuum valve can fail and it can get stopped up. What that means is if it fails or gets stopped up, it doesn't let air in as gas flows out through these lines to your outboard. That restricts the flow of gas to your outboard. It's like putting a straw down in water, putting your thumb over the straw, lifting the straw up. Water can't flow out because air can't flow in. So if you get an issue with your priming bulb getting stuck flat, or if your external tank is starving your outboard of fuel, check the vacuum valve on it. It may not be letting air in. One easy way to check it is if you're out on the water, your motor starts bogging down or your priming bulb starts to suck in, crack your gas cap. If you hear air flowing in and your motor perks up and your priming bulb inflates, you've got an issue with air getting in and backfilling the tank. You have an issue with your vacuum valve. Some people would actually drill a hole through it to make it an actual vent. Some people will trim the little diaphragm to let air, that will let air in. I'm not saying do any of that. EPA, I'm not saying do any of that. I'm not recommending that. Please don't do that. But I'm just saying. Number two also has to do with the fact that gas tanks now are sealed. Because this doesn't let air out, what happens is in the summertime, if you're out on the water, gas will expand as it warms up. That creates pressure in your gas tank. What that pressure does is it pushes more gas through these lines than what the outboard needs. That can cause your carb float to stay in the up position. It puts it in kind of a lock position because there's too much pressure pushing against the needle valve that's inside the carb. That will put too much gas in your carb and cause it to flood. So if you have flooding issues on hot days and you see that your tank is swelling up, you need to get what is called a fuel demand valve and install it in line on your gas line. What a fuel demand valve does is it isolates the pressure, prevents any pressure buildup in your tank from getting to your outboard. I don't have a fuel demand valve yet, but I have had issues with this, so I'm looking to get one for next season. And the number three issue with big external tanks like this, it's not a fault of the tank, but it's the fact that little outboards like this can get between 20 and 30 miles to the gallon. That means with a six gallon external tank like this one, you can go 100 and around 150 miles. And it takes me basically all season to put that many miles on that outboard or just run into fishing holes. So a tank like this possibly could last somebody all season. Gas does not last that long. It's gonna go bad and that's gonna cause you carb issues. So what you wanna do, as I've said a million times in my other videos, look at getting a fuel stabilizer to keep that gas fresh. Appreciate the view. Thank you as always for the support. Have an amazing day. Thanks.